This is the ultimate camera test of Nothing Phone 2A versus Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. The Nothing Mid-Range or the Samsung's Fan Edition. Let the battle begin. Let's start with the comparison between Nothing Phone 2A versus Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. And this is the first time we're comparing Nothing Phone in this channel. So I'm pretty excited to see what this phone can offer. And I'm pretty surprised how good the quality of the image are, especially comparing with some of the flagship phones like Galaxy S23 FE and also the upcoming comparison between Galaxy A55 that I'm currently testing and reviewing. We are testing both indoors and outdoors. We're also using all sensors, the dual camera system of Nothing Phone 2A and the triple camera system of Galaxy S23 FE. Our first comparison is color profile and saturation. And honestly, the images coming from Nothing Phone 2A is more flattering than Galaxy S23 FE. This is probably the looks and the vibes of Galaxy phones four years ago, where you will see the colors are brighter, more vivid, and the white balance is warmer, giving that inviting feeling and more livelier. It has better exposure than Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, especially on shadows. You would see because of the HDR shot of Nothing Phone 2A, shadows are non-existent. The only ick I have with Nothing Phone 2A, and it's not really a problem, is it takes away a good seconds or maybe a couple for it to process the image. It's like the processing power of Pixel 3, which is few years ago. Also, what struck me the most is the flaring, as this phone controls it better compared to S23 Fan Edition. Both phones are cleaned out before we test this, but you would still see harsher flaring on Samsung competition. Well, the colors on S23 FE is spot on in real life. If you love the more natural looking photos like the one you would see on Galaxy S24 and Pixel phones in general, this is probably one to get. It's natural looking to a point that sometimes the image looks boring because it also has a cooler white balance. So in situations where the sun is not out, then you would probably get a colder and bluer output on Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. It has good details on the floors, but if you take a shot of a subject closer, it has less finer details than nothing phone to a Again, personal preference, and some of you guys would probably want it smoother images, especially on portrait shots. Also, one thing that stands out on S23 Fan Edition is it crushes the shadows, again, making the images more natural looking and closer in real life, as opposed to the overly exposed and brighter nothing phone to a if you look at the specs really quick, not looking at the numbers, both has ultra wide and main sensor. I guess on this comparison, I would not deep dive into the numbers, maybe next time. But what I would like to point out is S23 Fan Edition has extra telephoto that gives you more detailed optical zoom. Also, the biggest difference on these two phones in terms of physical hardware is the video recording. The selfie on S23 FE has 4K while only 1080p on Nothing Phone 2A. And also, the rear camera can shoot 8K 24fps on the Samsung flagship. And looking at all sensors from the ultra wide wide and 3 times optical zoom, colors are consistent, but only S23 Fan Edition can reach 30 times. This is nothing phone 2A using the selfie camera in 1080p 30fps. There's no 4K on the selfie camera, but the video quality is really good. I'm just glad that the rear camera on this phone has 4K 30fps video. So if you want the 4K video recording, then you can shoot with the rear camera on nothing phone 2A. This is the director's view on Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, where you can see the front and back. There's no mode like this on nothing phone 2A. Let's talk about portrait mode and both phones are producing really good portrait shots. I would probably say a little bit with the clarity of Nothing Phone 2A, but anyone who wants a natural looking portrait shots, maybe a little bit soft and smoother, then S23 FE is a perfect choice. Nothing Phone 2A is a warmer skin tone all throughout this comparison. It just provides that inviting feel from the landscape mode to the portrait shots. I just noticed a little bit of over sharpening on the face, which is a little strong for me since you would notice that the shots are coming from a smartphone. I also like the gradual blur on Nothing Phone 2A. It doesn't blur the background too much, so it feels like it's coming from a proper camera. And what I like about the lens coating in general is, whether it's against the light or not, all shots on Nothing Phone 2A are usable, unlike S23 FE. While Galaxy S23 FE has impeccable subject separation, also if you're someone who wanted to show off that creamy background blur, or just want to blur the background for your portrait shots, then S23 FE is a good phone. It is also softer than the oversharpened look of Nothing Phone 2A, which means in general, S23 FE is more beautified than the competition. If we talk about focal range, you will have a perfect 24, 50, and 85mm shots, as opposed to the dual portrait shots on Nothing Phone 2A. Going for the selfie shots, Galaxy S23 FE is better exposed and has more details than Nothing Phone 2A, while the new Nothing mid-range crushes the blacks a little bit that gives depth to the selfie portrait. 
Going for the night shot, this is where the two phones separate each other. To begin with, it's not really a proper comparison. Since nothing phone twain only shoots night shot 2 seconds at max, I can find the settings to increase the number. Maybe there is and it's my fault. But I shoot both phones in auto mode and it only gives me 2 seconds. So basically, the shots on nothing phone 2A is soft but sometimes usable if there's enough light on the scene. But Galaxy S23 F is better exposed, it also cleans up the noise better on the shadowy part, more detailed and sharper image, and has good autofocus too. Again, I will still consider nothing phone 2A as a mid-range phone, and in terms of night shot performance, this will go hands down to S23 FE. I guess the only win on Nothing Phone 2 is the auto white balance because S23 Fan Edition is natural looking. Sometimes if the environment is bluer, let's say early morning, then the colors on the image are bluer than Nothing Phone 2A. This is Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition using 4K 60fps. The selfie camera is better on Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition in terms of video recording. Also on the rear camera, it can shoot 80 at 24 FPS. So if you need better video recording capability, then Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition is the way to go. Let's talk about flaring and nothing phone 2A is better than S23 Fan Edition. The lens coating on the main sensor particularly on the nothing phone handles the flaring better. In terms of highlights, if we zoom in on the window, you will see that there's a little bit more information on the mid-range Nothing Phone 2A. S23 F is not that bad, but again, nitpicking on these two phones, Nothing Phone 2A is better. Talking about close focus, you will see that on the main sensor, S23 FE has closer focus than Nothing Phone 2A. But you can always use the 3 times optical zoom of Galaxy Phone, so you'll get a crisp, macro-like shot. In terms of sharpness, both the ultra wide and the main sensor, they have the same tack sharp images. I guess a little bit over sharpened than Nothing Phone 2A. But if we go to the native optical zoom, S23 FE will perform better than Nothing Phone 2A. But the mid range Nothing Phone is no slouch. And in terms of reach, you would see that S23 FE has farther reach. And lastly, details, the 50 megapixel battle using the main sensor. Again, both of them are really detailed and sharp. It's a little bit over sharpened again on Nothing Phone 2A, but only this phone can offer 50 megapixel readout on the ultra wide lens. So this is the image test of Nothing Phone 2A and Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. The difference are the colors. It's more vivid on Nothing Phone 2A compared to Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Also a personal taste for portrait mode and night shot. Now let's do the video test from the stabilization, low light, and slow motion. This is the zoom test and on Nothing Phone 2A, you just pick either the ultra wide or main sensor but on S23 Fan Edition, you can access all of them while recording. This is the slow motion test and Samsung is actually slower than Nothing Phone 2A. There's also a super slow motion that is way slower than this. This is the stabilization test and both of them has great stabilization on shake and even the steady monopod support, both ultra wide sensors are good. This is the main sensor in 4K 30 FPS and like the ultra wide sensor, they almost perform the same. I would say it's a little bit of difference on the colors, warmer on nothing phone to A. This is the optical zoom versus the digital crop and both of them are doing really good. You have a better zoom capability in S23 FE and slightly better stabilization on Nothing Phone 2A. One of the biggest differences is the selfie camera as S23 FE can shoot 4K video recording. Also the colors are a little bit muted on the Nothing Phone while S23 FE is more colorful. And lastly, low light video, the output on S23 F is a little bit washed out but better exposure while well, there's better colors and contrast on the new mid-range nothing phone. I think you can't go wrong with any of these two phones. Honestly, nothing phone 2A will give you better experience than any other mid-range phones in the market. It has great colors, portrait shots, and very competitive video recording capability, although lacking in the resolution size. Well, if you like a natural looking photo, then stick or choose Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. I feel like in terms of video recording, it is superior, but you would also pay a heftier price tag.